This video will teach you how to find, access, and save ebooks using Snowden Super Search. Starting at the library's homepage, if you scroll down, you can search in this database using this first search box. I'm going to type in my keywords of medieval France and click search. When you conduct an initial search in Snowden Super Search, you will find many different types of materials, including academic journal articles, books, magazine articles, ebooks, and more. If you want to narrow your search to just ebooks, you can do so on the left side of the page under source type. Here you can check the box next to ebooks and the database will automatically refresh your result list. When looking for ebooks in Snowden Super Search, you will need to pay special attention to the links that are available underneath each item. Let's click on this first link that says JSTOR Full Text. This ebook is available through the database called JSTOR. To view this ebook, you can scroll to the table of contents and then click on the book chapter that you would like to read. I'm going to click on the introduction. Here, you can see the entire book chapter online and you can flip through it here. You could also download this PDF directly by clicking the download PDF link. Here, you can save this PDF to your computer by clicking this download link right here. Since JSTOR doesn't have a way to search within your book or book chapter, I recommend downloading a book chapter and then clicking Control F on your keyboard to do a search in this PDF. Here you can type in your keyword, click enter, and the search box at the top will show you how many times your keyword appeared in the PDF, and it will highlight that word for you, as you can see here. If you want to email this to yourself, um, you will not use the URL at the top of the page. You will need to find a permanent link or a stable link that will get you back to this exact page. The URL at the top will not get you there. You will need to use this stable link on the left side of the page. So you can copy that and paste it into an email to yourself. You can also click the Cite This Item button to see a couple of different ways that you can cite this book chapter. Back at Snowden Super Search, let's check out the second link that says Online Access. This link will bring you to a database called ProQuest eBook Central. Here you can see there is actually a limit to how many pages you can download to your computer, so you'll need to pay special attention to that. You can either click on the Read Online link or you can scroll down and look at the table of contents below. Let's click the Read Online button. Here, you can either scroll through the actual book, or on the left-hand side of the page, you can click on the table of contents to jump to a certain chapter that you want to read. And this might be too zoomed in for you, so you can zoom out using the icons in the top right-hand corner of the page. You can search within this book using the search box on the left-hand side of the page. Once you enter your keyword and click search, the database will show you how many times your keyword shows up in each chapter, so you can jump to that part of the book that talks about your keyword the most. If you are looking to cite this book, if you are looking for a permanent link, those links are at the top of the page. You can also download this chapter using this link right here. And something unique about this database is that you can actually highlight words, you can add a note, and you can also add a bookmark. Let's see what that looks like. You will need to create a free account using eBook Central. Once you are logged in, let's see what it looks like to highlight. Let's add a note and click Save. And you can do that on any page that you want. And we can also add a bookmark. 
Now, if you go to the left-hand side of the page, and if you click on this star, you can see all of your annotations in this book. Now, since I added annotations to this book, it has been saved to my bookshelf in eBook Central, and you can click on this bookshelf link in the top right-hand corner of the page to view all of your books that you have saved, and it has saved all of my annotations here. Back at Snowden Super Search, the third link that I'd like to show you is PDF Full Text. Once you click on this link, you will remain in Snowden Super Search. This is just on a different page of this database. Here, you can scroll through this ebook, or you can jump to the different book chapters on the left hand side of the page. Above the title, you can click Search Within to search for a keyword within this book. Just like the last database, you can add a note to your ebook, but to do so, you will need to create a free account with EBSCOhost and it will save your book. Now, I can also add this book to my folder by clicking the link at the top left hand corner of the page. And now if I wanted to view my folder, I can click on this folder icon in the top right hand corner of the page. And then I can find my ebook in this ebook list on this left hand side of the page. But let's go back to that book. I can also cite this book, I can find a permalink here using these links at the top of the page. Back to our results page. The last link that I wanted to show you is this Palsy link. This will actually bring you back to ProQuest eBook Central, which we already covered earlier in this video. If you have any questions about finding, accessing eBooks using Snowden Super Search or any of our databases, a librarian would be happy to help you.